turn to Jonathan Fredan for the third reflection introducing the Shofarot section of the Amidah. You can be seated. <clears throat> I shall never forget the sounds I cannot hear. Yesterday, Shabbat Machyot, Zikronot, and Shofarot. Or tomorrow's. Or Edward Mulch over and over, and uh, Edward Munch over and over and over. Or my baby sister's cries in that old Victorian looking down at the Hudson River coming home from school to see her bundled up in my mother's arms, rushing to the hospital after she accidentally crawled into a sink of scalding hot. I shall never forget the sounds I cannot hear. Did Beethoven hear his ninth? The sound the toast made right before it burned. The sound the pot made before the water boiled out. The fog's horn in the night far from the sea. The train's whistle after the tracks The trains whistle after the tracks were torn up for a bike path. The struggling couple's argument held back for the children. The baby's mouth wide open for that stretching moment before the cry kicks in. The flash of lightning with the crackling thunder that never comes. The mountain yells we never made when we reached the top of Middle Teton. I shall never forget the sounds I cannot hear, all those words. I love you, I hate you, screw you, I'm sorry, I miss you, I'm glad to be rid of you, I wish we were together, I want to stay, I want to leave. All those words that were not spoken. I shall never forget the sounds I cannot hear. The sound of the incoming missiles that never came, thank God, after the siren's warning. The boiling sizzle of the sun sinking round and red into the warm Mediterranean. The collision sounds that never come with all the near misses biking down the sidewalk lane on Ibn Gibberol on a hot Tel Aviv afternoon. The wrong way riders, the electric bicycles, the electric scooters, the walkers absorbed in their phones, the soldiers getting off the bus, the personal boundaries that never appear until right before the contact that never happens. I shall never forget the sounds I cannot hear. My own howling in the blasts of wind, biking to Jaffa in the last light of the day, as the winter storm rages and the ocean overruns the beach and pounds up onto the road, howling, 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 pure joy in the rain, snug in my Helly Hansen gear, under an unrelenting heaven. Bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. I may not understand all the words, but I'm ready to listen. <laughs>